Alright everyone, how's it going? This is Rexfury here, and I am back yet again another Game Maker tutorial. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create multiple save files in your Game Maker games. Now, this is kind of weird um, when you guys first hear it. I mean, I'm sure some of you are like, what the heck? Multiple save files? What do you mean? Well, basically, what I'm talking about is, uh, jeez, it sounds kind of weird there. Well, basically, <laughs> anyway, uh, basically what I'm talking about here is in Game Maker, for those of you who have, uh, I guess, had a little experience with this before, for. Um, if you were to create a save and load system, um, pretty much the easiest way to do this would just go uh, go to like a uh, add event on any random object, key press, uh, f uh, enter, wherever enter is. Ah, there we go, enter. And just go to the main 2 tab, click and drag over the uh, save game. I don't know why I can't say that really fast, like click and drag over, click and drag over, jeez. And uh, anyway, back to the uh, little tutorial, I guess. Um, so what you would do is uh, you type out any name for the uh, save game file name here. I'll just type out game. And to load it, you would just go uh, again to any key press event, in my case it's going to be space. Click and drag over load game, and type out the same thing you did for the save game. Okay, game. What the? Ah, okay. So what would happen is uh, if you press enter, it would save your game. You press space, it would load your game. You go back to where you were. However, you can only do that once. You can't do it multiple times. Basically, have multiple saves and loads. Um, so you know that can get kind of annoying sometimes. So what I'm going to be showing you guys today is to get past that and uh, create multiple saves or save files, I guess, uh, so that you can load them as well. Now, I know that sounds kind of weird, and to me, this is kind of weird to explain as well, um, but don't worry, guys, if you don't get it now, because you will at the end of the tutorial, at least I hope you will, and uh, it will usually it will make a lot more sense once you kind of see everything in action. So, with that pretty long intro, I didn't really mean for it to be that long, but nonetheless, Let's just go ahead and get started, guys, <laughs> before I start mumbling on here. Alright, so as you can see, I already have everything pre-made for the sake of time in this video, because this is a pretty simple thing to do, and uh, I don't really want to take too much time uh, kind of going over this, so yeah. Alright, but what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, I have a little sprite here um, that's going to go for my object. You could have whatever the heck you want to have here. Um, I just have a little player so you guys can... Uh, uh, I guess have something more interesting to look at while you're uh, watching the tutorial here. Um, but yeah, you want to go ahead and have a uh, sprite. It can be pretty much any dimension. I don't think it really matters. Hit OK there. And create an object if you haven't already for that corresponding sprite. And, um,. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Um, this right here you don't really need to put because it's just some simple movement to kind of show you guys um, basically what the uh, end result will end up doing later on. So you don't really need to worry about that. Um, what you do need to worry about, however, is um, these little snippets of code. Alright, and I will have these codes in the description box unless YouTube's description kind of thingy says otherwise because sometimes YouTube doesn't really like some of the symbols that are used in these codes so it'll be like, oh, the symbol's bad, blah. And for those of you guys who are a little familiar with code, if a symbol is missing in a piece of code, usually that means pretty bad news and you won't really have everything working the way you want it to. So um, if that's the case, I will put all the code into a pastebin, put the link to that pastebin in the link so you guys can go to that pastebin, copy and paste and stuff. Um, so don't worry about that. Alright, but either way, let's go ahead and just begin with this tutorial. Alright, so what you want to do is you want to go add event into the object with the sprite that I talked about earlier, or whatever that sprite may be, and simply just go key press and, uh, where is it? There we go. Key press enter. I can never find that enter for some reason. I have no idea why, but nonetheless, moving on here. Uh, once you have the key press enter, you want to go over to the control tab here and uh, click and drag over the execute code action. Alright, and after you've done that, you want to go ahead and go to the description box of this video, and uh, it's either going to be in the paste bin or the description box itself. Which other one? Or, <clears throat> excuse me, whichever one, um, you want to go ahead and just click and drag over the very first um, piece of code that appears on the uh, either description box or paste bin and simply just copy and paste it in here. And uh, this is going to be the load portion of the uh, kind of whole tutorial here. And I know, you know, saving would make a little bit more sense, but this is kind of just the uh, first piece of code that appeared here. So I guess I just went ahead and chose it. Uh, but nonetheless, what it's basically saying here is um, when you press enter, there's going to be a box that comes up in your computer. And it's going to say type or select the file to open. All right. And this is basically going to be um, for loading your games. And this will, again, make more 
sense later once you've finished it. And uh, really quickly though, before we exit off of this and go to the save portion, um, if you want to edit this text here to say something else, um, like uh, select a file to open or something, just let's say we want to delete this type. Simply just highlight what you want to delete and hit backspace. Now the only thing you want to keep here um, to keep this from getting all messed up is these little marks up here which I cannot for the life of me think of the uh, correct name for those but basically you want to just keep those and uh, as long as you keep those in and uh, just kind of edit the text within those you'll be fine. Alright so after that you want to go ahead and add event and uh, key press as well as space there we go and same thing, go to the control tab if you're not there already, click and drag over some execute code, and go over to the description box, or the paste bin, what might be in the description box, depends what YouTube is uh, feeling that day, or, you know, we know what I mean. Um, and just go ahead and uh, copy and paste the second code into this little code box here. And again, um, if you want to change what this text says here, because this is pretty much the only thing that you're going to want to edit throughout this whole entire thingy, um, you just want to make sure to keep these little marks here. Alright, and after that you want to go ahead and hit OK, and change your, uh, take your object, I was, geez, I totally blanked out there, but uh, yeah, go ahead and take your object that you created, and put it anywhere in the room, as you can see I put it right there, and simply run your game, and I'm going to show you guys what this does really quick in just a moment, I want to go ahead and switch the recording regions of uh, my little screen capture software here, just so you guys don't see the background of my desktop and everything, because it might be kind of distracting, so give me a minute here and I will go ahead and do that. Okay, so we are back, and uh, as you can see, we have a little object, and we are in our nice little gray room here, filled with nothingness. Let's just go ahead and uh, hit left really quick here to show you guys. Oh, you know what? I actually didn't want to do that, but okay, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, let's just go ahead and press enter here. Okay, and as you can see, it says to, uh, well, that's not really where I wanted to go. Uh, let's actually take this over to the desktop here. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel really quick because that is actually the load feature. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and hit space, rather. And take it over to the desktop. And uh, as you can see, it says save name here. So we can basically create a save file. And as you can see, I have a game one and a save one. Those are some previous tests uh, that I was doing. But uh, let's go ahead and name this uh, do -do -do -do, uh, test uh, one. Okay, and hit enter. Alright, and we've saved, and let's go and move to the left a little bit, and let's go ahead and load back to where we were, because let's say I don't really want to be here, so we're going to go ahead and hit enter, and test one, there we go, hit open, and we are right back to where we came, so that is awesome, now let's say we want to go ahead, and let's say this was like a test file or something, we were just testing stuff, and we want to kind of uh, make another save file for the official game, so, uh, you know, when we're actually playing it officially, so let's go ahead and move all the way over here, press space, and let's name this one test2, hit OK, or enter in my case, it could be whichever one, it doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, and let's go ahead and move, actually, yeah, let's move out of the map, <laughs> oh my gosh, alright, now let's hit enter, and let's choose test 2, hit open, and there we go, we're right back to where we last saved in our test 2, and let's go ahead and actually now hit enter, and hit test 1, see what happens. And as you can see, we're right back in this save area, and there we go, that is multiple save files. Um, you know, there's a lot of different uses for this, you can kind of, uh, it, you know, it is a little bit complex, the actual system itself, but, uh, you know, once you kind of get the hang of it, it can be kind of a cool feature to have. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, that is how to create multiple save files in GameMaker. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this tutorial, and once again, guys, this has been Rex Furry, and wait a minute... I didn't finish this intro properly, did I? No, I did not. All right, guys, so I apologize. I'm really hungry, and I actually have some fresh pancakes waiting for me just a couple feet away from me. Oh, so good. But uh, feel free to comment and rate on this video, as well as even subscribe to my channel for uh, some upcoming updates on future videos and uh, stuff like that. And as always, guys, this has been Rex Furry, and I'll see you guys next video.